Let's get started by importing data into Python. As I mentioned in the last video, I'm using Jupyter Notebooks to do this exercise, and also there are a bunch of files that will be used throughout this exercise on my GitHub page, which I will link to below. Um, so to start off, you want to make sure that you've downloaded Pandas, as in the last video, and also that you've downloaded the practice files from GitHub and that they're in the same directory that you're working from. So in this case, my notebook that I'm working from, tutorial1.ipython database, is in the same folder as my sample order CSV, which is the first CSV I'll be working with. Okay, in order to start, the first thing you need to do is import your pandas library. And to do that, you just type import. You see how it um, lights up with green? That means it is a function that is recognized by Python. Import pandas. And it looks like around the internet, the naming convention is to name pandas as pd. Um, you'll just see that if you go to Stack Overflow when pandas is referenced. So to do that, I will put as, actually lowercase as, pd. And then for Jupyter specifically to run my code, I just hit this run button and pandas is imported. Um, the next thing that I'll need to do is import my CSV file. And to do that, I'm going to use a module of pandas called a data frame. Now, if you're, if you're familiar with SQL, um, just think of a data frame as a table. Or if you're familiar with R, think of a data frame as a data frame. It's the same thing in R as in uh, Python. So you're going to want to import your table into a data frame. And to declare a data frame, you can really just declare it as a variable by calling it anything. Um, the convention seems to be df is your data frame variable name. So I will use that. And to set your data frame, you're going to use a pandas.readcsv function. So you want to call pandas pd.read underscore csv. And that's a built-in pandas function. Um, and into it, you're going to pass your document name. So my document name that I want to reference is sample underscore orders dot csv. All right, I'm going to run that code and it looks like it ran without any errors. Um, in order to display the information in this new data frame I've created, I'm just going to use a print function. If you're familiar with Python at all, it's just print, uh, open, close parentheses, and through it you can pass anything. You can pass a variable, you can pass text, so obligatory hello world, going to run that, and I've just printed hello world. And I can also print my data frame. And there you go, this is your CSV file. Um, you have order ID, order date, customer ID, items ordered, order total, and also a neat little index that Python has created for you. All right, and you can also reset that index um, if you want to know how to do that, I can include it in a different video, or you can actually just Google how to reset index pandas, and you'll get the answer for that. Um, two more quick functions to go over in this lesson. Um, if you're familiar with working with large data sets, you're, you know that sometimes your data sets get huge and you don't necessarily want to print the entire CSV file just to see if you've imported it or not. One thing that I like to use is a head or a tail function, and that will just give you the first n or the last n rows in your data frame. So I'll start off with the print head function, and I'm just going to print my data frame, and then I'm going to say data frame dot head, and into that you just need to print the number of rows that you want. So I'm going to enter three, so this will give me the first three rows of my data frame. And there you go, order ID 1000 to 1002. Um, same thing, you can do tail. And that will give you the last five rows of your data frame. 